house a mirage. Phil Bowen. Hello, Tim. Knock me down. Fugitive from a crow's nest. How's a pigeon? Still flying a brownie camel over Germany? <laughs> Your move, Grover. Smitty, I'd like you to meet an old seagoing friend of mine. Lieutenant Bowen, Captain Smith. Hello, Lieutenant. Howdy. McDougal, three beers. Hey, it's quite a pub you've got here. Who built this shack? King James V, 1538. We took it over from him. We're using it as an officer's club. We're attached to Bomber Squadron 32 at Bolton. It's about 20 minutes away, when you can get away. What brought you here? You're looking at a modern Jonah. Our carrier was blown out from under us, and to top it off, the cruiser that picked us up was torpedoed. Say, why don't you guys do something to stop that? Like what? Like knocking over a few submarine plants in Germany. I'd kind of like to come out of this thing alive, and I've got a hunch my bride would like it, too. Don't tell me you're married. Three months to the day. Captain Grover, meet the wife. Congratulations. Not bad. What do you mean, not bad? She's perfect. Checkmate. Hmm. You now owe me three and tuppence a penny. Money grubber. Say, Smitty, don't you wish we had time for things like this? Hmm? Ah, four stacker. Tripod mainmast. Yeah, well decked. Yeah, she's CL. <laughs> she's a what? There, that cruiser on the horizon. A picture only means one thing to Smitty, photo intelligence. Smitty, how about our game of dots? Yeah, okay, Sharp. Say, who is that drip? That drip, at the tender age of 26, is one of the white hopes of photo intelligence. Yeah, then why doesn't he use some of his photo intelligence on those German subs? I'm sick of drinking salt water. Did you happen to read about that blasting we gave Hamburg last week? Last week, I was on a raft in the middle of the North Sea. We looked everywhere for a newsstand, but couldn't find one. Well, there's quite a story behind that bombing, and a good part of it was written by Captain Smith. Don't tell me he bombed Hamburg single-handed. No, not quite. That's not his department. You see, he used to be the PI in our FIU. Now he's with the CIS. How did that go again? Smitty used to be the PI, Photo Intelligence Officer with the FIU, Forward Interpretation Unit. Now he's with the CIS, Central Interpretation Section. You don't say. If I'm gonna tell you this story, I think I'd better explain our setup. Photo intelligence is divided into three parts. Call them A, B, and C. A is reconnaissance, B is first phase, C is second phase. First phase, tactical interpretation. Second phase, strategic interpretation. Reconnaissance, tactical, strategic. Tactical interpretation occurs at FIU, Forward Interpretation Unit. Strategic interpretation occurs at CIS, Central Interpretation Section. Get it? I was listening. Look, Stu. Reconnaissance, that's my department. Takes the pictures, prints them, and identifies them. We operate from an FIU, Forward Interpretation Unit. First phase, tactical interpretation of the pictures to get information concerning immediate military operations. This occurs at FIU. Second phase, strategic interpretation of the pictures to get information concerning future military operations. This is done by specialists at CIS. Well, I get it. But if Smith's at CIS, what's he doing around here? He just came back to FIU for the day to collect his belongings. It all begins with the determination of missions from A2. Whoop! Skip the technical double talk. I'm sorry, I forgot you weren't very bright. If there's anything that disturbed you, give a blast on that pipe. Okay, Professor. What's determination of missions from A2? A2 is Air Intelligence Headquarters. In collaboration with the various commands, Air, Navy, and Ground Forces, they determine where and when reconnaissance missions are to be made. This time, A2 ordered us to fly a routine mission over Hamburg. What? Already? What's routine about flying over Hamburg? Well, there are two kinds of missions. Routine, where we fly over the same enemy areas at regular intervals, and priority, when A2 wants to check on some new and important information. 
Hamburg was a routine mission. I flew reconnaissance, which starts, as you know, with briefing. You might get some interception here. Just south of Cookshaven. Last time, Burroughs ran into a flock of 190s there. At Hamburg, concentrate your first run on the inner harbor, particularly that area around the pocket battleship. You'll fly the same route back. Cross on the lower meridian and turn straight for home. Now, that's about all. OK, Sheldon, get in the weather. At 30,000 feet over Germany, you'll have a 45 mile an hour northeast wind. There'll be some heavy cloud at 15,000 over the North Sea. Good visibility over all northern Germany. Claire Isabel over Hamburg. Anything on your mind, Smitty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want Grover to cover this section on the outskirts of Hamburg. What, again? You're going to wear that place out. Intend to. Thanks. There's something there. May even be more important to us than that pocket battleship. For instance? Well, you still haven't located some of the most vital war plants in Germany. One of them may be right in this area. What makes you think so? Hmm? Well, look here. Here's an ordinary residential district. Yet there's flak here, here, and here. Why? What's it guarding? Here's your overlay. Your flak, hospital, playground with a soccer field, and a cemetery. There's nothing of military importance there. It's a mystery to me. Yeah, you're worrying us gray with that mystery of yours. I'll be worrying any more after tonight, Captain. Don't tell us you're giving up, Smitty. Certainly not. Been transferred to CIS. Flying up on the liaison plane tonight. Good for you. What department? Navy. I've been working so long on this confounded pocket battleship, they've got me typed as a naval specialist. You allergic to boats, Captain? Industry's my line. Light and heavy industrial plants. Had years of research. No sense wasting it on ships. The captain hates the sea. Ah, uh, cheer up, Smitty. As a going away present, we'll let Grover take another shot of your cemetery. Only be sure you don't settle down there. Go to it. I'm on my way. So I was off to photograph Hamburg. The camera ship is called an F-5, a special P-38 stripped of all guns and armor plating. I'd climbed to 26,000 feet. Coming in over the target, I started the automatic cameras and shot the first strip of pictures. I then started making my trace. The trace is laid over a map section. It shows the flight path back and forth over the target. Here's my pattern. I made a straight run that way, cut the cameras here, circled the ship back and photographed another strip across like that. The trace shows a position and direction in which picture strips were made. To complete the job, I turned around and shot my last strip back over Hamburg, heading for home. After I landed, the film was removed from the ship's cameras and developed by our lab technicians. When the photos are handed over, all printed, titled, and marked confidential, that's the end of reconnaissance. Meanwhile, the pilot is given an interrogation. Items from this interrogation also go into the pilot's operational and weather reports. These give the photo interpreters our time schedule, altitude, weather conditions, enemy opposition, and all the dope on reconnaissance. These reports, together with the trace, now go to phase one, the tactical interpretation. Smitty has already begun phase one on that negative. If he finds anything important... Grover. He's found it. No doubt about it. The camouflage on that battleship is being removed. Comparison shows it's three quarters of the way down. Here, take a look. Mm-hmm. 
Looks like she's getting set to move, all right. Oh, Hicks. Yes, sir. Oh, prepare a flash. Tell type to all commands. And Hicks, I'm leaving shortly for CIS. You'll have to carry on with the interpretation and get out form white yourself. After negatives are inspected, the film is dried and three prints made of each negative. One set stays at FIU for immediate interpretation and filing. This interpretation is put into brief report form and sent to the appropriate commands. That's form white. And what commands are considered appropriate? Our bomber command, the RAF bomber and coastal commands, the U.S. Navy and the Royal Navy. They get another more detailed report later from CIS called Form Green. What good does that do the Navy? We get dunked by German subs while Smith sits on his dry fanny. Take it easy, sailor. Smitty's work is just starting. Here, he's using stereo vision. Two overlapping prints called a stereo pair are placed under a stereoscope to get depth of vision. Same principle as the old Paula stereoscope, which gave you that exciting view of Niagara Falls. In this case, Smitty has to move the two prints until objects on them focus and form one image. This projects the objects so that their shapes and relative heights can be compared and even measured. After the interpretation by Smitty, the plotting is done by the sergeant. First, he takes a print, measures a distance, and calculates a ratio with the same distance on the map. He then adjusts his template to conform to the exact area one print covers on that map. Now he lays out the prints in strips. Following the pilot's trace to form a photo pattern. Every print has an identification. The negatives have all been titled by hand and numbered. This titling is often referred to as marginal data. This shows the serial number of each print, the number of the mission, the number of the FIU, the date of the mission, the time of day or night, the focal length of the camera, the altitude, and the locality. Since the prints of this particular mission were so successful, the sergeant prepared a strip layout. To do this, the prints must be laid out in correct position according to their serial numbers. After this is all laid out in correct sequence, it is sometimes prepared and photographed so as to give the effect of one overall print. This is then called a mosaic. Now he goes back to his plotting. Using his template, he plots the relative position of each photograph on the map according to the strip layout until all the photos are correctly plotted. The plotted prints are then numbered in sequence. The finished plot is then used as a reference key in this way. If anyone wants a print of a certain Hamburg area, he refers to its position and the number on the plot. This locates the corresponding print, whose number he will find in the photo files, where the prints are filed according to their mission numbers. All aboard, Smitty. The plane's waiting, Captain. Uh huh? Check all that stuff for CIS? Prints, plot, pilot, trace, and reports are already in the plane, sir. And here's Form White. There's a lot of new Yonkers at the East Airdrome. They've camouflaged more oil tanks at the Naval School. Oh, that's fine. Come on, stop digging at that Hamburg spot. You ought to know every tombstone in the cemetery. It's a very peculiar shadow here. Here, take a look. See that long shadow? No breaks in the length. All wrong for those houses. What do you think it is? It's the roof. Edge of a long roof. That's the end of first phase. We now come to second phase interpretation. As thousands swim. No competition at all. 
I've been telling Bowen about our Hamburg mission last week. Mm, that was a good mission. I just got through with the first phase. Suppose you take it from there, Smitty. Tell him about that mystery area of yours. You know about our setup at CIS? Sure. Round two. Another bunch of you guys wrestle with a print. CIS happens to be a group of highly trained specialists. The RAF realized the value of specialization, divided strategic interpretation into various departments. We followed the same plan. In second phase, we make comparative interpretation of the prints to ensure a systematic coverage of intelligently selected enemy areas. Each department supplies information, which is sent a detailed report to all commands, form green. This helps plan future military operations. One department at CIS interprets activities of enemy naval forces. This is called the naval section. Then there's the flak section, aircraft, inland transportation, airdromes, decoys and dummies, damage assessment, radio, army, and industry. Lieutenant. Yes, sir. What made you call this a hydrogenated oil plant? That's what FIU tab did. I checked Form White on the last Hamburg mission. Thanks. You don't suppose FIU is taking a long shot, do you? Nothing of the kind. What's more, I'll be glad to prove it to you. Well, that's very kind of you, Captain Smith. Here, look. Here's a group of miscellaneous buildings, jumbled together and connected by pipes. Stacks, tanks, junk in yard. Obviously, some kind of a chemical plant. Obviously. Well, it can't be petroleum because the buildings aren't set up right. It can't be coal tar because the pipes and the shape of the buildings are all wrong. It's no coking plant. What about a paint and lacquer works? Well, the roofs would show discoloration from paint fumes. You can't always be sure on a black and white print, you know. Yes, we just had some of that new color film. Color film makes a tremendous difference, especially in camouflage work. Uh, what do you make of this building with all the pipes leading out of it? Well, that's what gave me my clue. Those pipes are leading in, and they don't carry oil. You sure about that? Of course I'm sure. Well, I was just asking. Go on. Well, then I remember that next to Hamburg is the port of Harburg, center of the whale oil industry. Then uh, this building is where the edible oils are treated. And those pipes? Carry the hot gas into the building. Flow lines and tanks all check. So it couldn't be anything else but a hydrogenation plant. Well, there's no guesswork about that. I never made a guess in my life. In doubt, I always put down unidentified or probable. Any man who doesn't has no right in this business. A guess or a false statement by an interpreter can lead to costly, even fatal action by the commands. By the way, I'm Major Dean. What did you say your name was? Captain Smith, sir. I've just been transferred up from FIU. Oh, yes, Smith. But I thought they'd put you in naval section. Yeah, they did. I guess I better get back there. Have an appointment with the colonel. Uh, just a moment, Captain. Excuse me. I've noticed that uh, one Hamburg area is being covered rather exhaustively in reconnaissance from your FIU. I'm curious to know why. What are you fellas after? I can't understand all the flack in that area. What's it guarding? Well, I've wondered about that myself. Have you any ideas? You notice know, this shadow here? Hmm. Might be the top of a fence or a long wall. It's a roof, I think. Then there's that pond, sometimes empty, sometimes full. It just doesn't make sense. Any clues from other intelligence sources? No, I've checked all reports. Refugees, underground agents, travel lists, people who know the territory. There's been no commando raid on Hamburg as yet, so there's no information from that source. Well, I guess I better get going. Yeah, you'd better not keep the colonel waiting. No. Uh. Major, look here. What do you make of this? It looks like another shadow. Only this one's not in line with the first one. You don't suppose? Of course. It's a roof, too. You mean all one building extending right to the pond? Oh, what's the matter with me? That's no pond. That's a drain. A drain for what? For a water tunnel. Look. Here's the building. Here's the drain. And the building's shaped like this, long and narrow. I can see the other edge of the roof now, under camouflage. What sort of a building do you think it is? 
testing basin. For submarines? That's right. Captain Smith. Just a moment. I've been waiting for you in Navy. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, sir, it looks as though Captain Smith had got onto one of the vital plants we've been after. He has, eh? What's that? A testing basin for submarines. Same principle as a wind tunnel for aircraft. Under that camouflage. A submarine testing plant that far from the harbor? Put there on purpose to escape detection. We never even thought of looking so far inland. They uh, manufacture important new parts here and then test them on a submarine right in that basin. Well, Captain, I guess I'll have to forgive her for keeping me waiting. I should have figured it out long ago. I see it all now. As if there were no camouflage there at all. Well, what happened to that plant? Impatient, Cuss. I've been waterlogged long enough. Come on, give out. Did they get it? They blow it to hell and gone. <laughs>